Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about how I study anatomy in medical school. Obviously anatomy is a super important part of medicine, so it's really necessary that you learn it really well during medical school and then you stay refreshed on it like during your medical career. So I'm just going to go through the different ways that I learned anatomy and the different resources that I used and let you guys know a couple of my favorite resources. So the formal time that you usually learn anatomy in medical school I believe is during your first two years after that it's kind of up to you if you're gonna be like keeping up on your anatomy but you're not really getting tested anymore you're just kind of getting pimped on your surgery rotations or your other rotations that you have so during my first two years was when I was learning anatomy and I was fortunate enough that it wasn't my first time learning anatomy I did learn anatomy during undergrad which was super helpful because I already knew quite a bit going into medical school but I also know actually that a lot of people did not learn anatomy before medical school so I guess maybe it wasn't a requirement for our medical school but I remember a lot of people saying they didn't learn anatomy before then. I was also an anatomy dissection assistant during my last year of college so that definitely helped a lot as well so I'm really thankful for those experiences but of course you forget a lot and the anatomy that you learn in medical school is very different from how you learn it in undergrad. There's a lot more that you need to know and a lot more like clinical applications that you need to know. So obviously the first way that you learn anatomy is through all of your lectures in class and the way that my school did it is that they would give us kind of like an outline from Gray's Anatomy. They would just kind of give us the important parts that we need to know and they made like a little iBook thing for us with all the important parts which was super nice of them. And then they'd add like little quizzes and we would usually do those before we went to lecture and then we would only have lecture for for like two hours on Mondays every Monday so we didn't do like too much anatomy in class we were mainly kind of expected to learn on our own we use Gray's Anatomy and a lot of different schools use different books I think Gray's Anatomy is pretty popular out there though it has really nice diagrams and good explanations and it also has uh, like little boxes that tell you the clinical significance of the different like muscles or nerves or uh, whatever you need to know but I'm personally not like a book learner so I didn't really read Grey's Anatomy, I kind of just used it for the diagrams. And then during the lecture I'd take advantage of the 3D boards, but obviously it's a little bit different when it's a virtual board versus like an actual cadaver where you can feel like the difference between the arteries and the veins and, and then our school gave us access to different like apps on our iPads that showed 3D models of the body and you could just like type in the nerve or the muscle or the body part that you're looking for and then it'll highlight that specifically so it was kind of like a virtual anatomy on our own iPad. And then obviously different sources, uh, like if you're using Boards and Beyond, they don't really have like a comprehensive anatomy section, they'll just tell you specific high points. I don't think that's as good of a tool for anatomy just because it's not really comprehensive. And then obviously you have Kaplan questions, Amboss, different things like that where you can, you know, do questions on anatomy. But I find it a little bit more difficult to just learn through questions unless you're making flashcards or something from those questions. There's tons of different like anatomy sources that you can use out there. And and one that I particularly liked is KenHub. KenHub is kind of like Words and Beyond or a like Amboss or something else like that. It's kind of like all of those combined, but it's specifically for anatomy. You get the videos, you get quizzes. You can actually customize the quizzes and make them like harder. They also have different articles that you can read. So if you're more of a reader, then you can like read through those articles. Or if you're more of a visual learner, they have tons of really helpful videos. They also have an atlas, like a lot of the other resources where you can just look at the different body parts online. And then they also have these little diagrams, these worksheets, which I actually think are free so anybody can access it even if you don't have premium access and they basically have like the body parts so, like if you have the trunk or like an arm they'll have like that um, part of your body and they'll have like the muscles showing and labeled and then you're quizzing yourself and writing in the name that the arrow is pointing to so I think those are super helpful to do especially if you're having practicals quizzes are also uh, similar they're just not you know writing it in yourself so you also have like a virtual component where you can just like click on the answer or you have where you can write it down so if you're more of a learner when you're writing down then those worksheets can be super helpful for you and then I'll show you guys a little bit of like the quizzes and the videos that you can have 
Okay guys, so this is Ken Hub, and as you can see, it has a lot of different sections for anatomy. Uh, it has all of the different like body regions that you're going to need to learn about. And then they also have histology. Really cool thing that they have is embryology as well, which is not common to find in these like anatomy resources. And then like I was talking about, they have the medical imaging and this is really helpful for your clinical years. And then you can see it has like a section for your weak spots and then those custom quizzes that you can make. So I'm just going to click on the basics to show you guys what they have under these sections. So you guys can see they have all the terminology and then if you go down a little bit more, they'll have like the bones. So I'm gonna just start this module and so you can see they have videos, watch videos, you can take a quiz, and then they have that atlas section where you can just see uh, the diagrams with the labels, and then they have related articles. So this is one video. I really like these videos because you guys all know it's Matt from Kent. in medical school, you always watch things at like one and a half times speed, or if you go down here, you can also put it at two times speed, uh, which is great because we never have time to watch it at normal speed. And then they also have that quiz like I was talking about. So I'll just show you the quiz. Uh, so you can have like an advanced one and muscle like innervations function. So I'm just gonna do the basic one. And I actually already started this quiz. So like you guys can see, they have the question and then you Scapula, click lunate bone and then you click again clavicle. And this is obviously like a really easy quiz to do. Um, so you can customize it as you wish, make it harder. And then this is the Atlas I was talking about. They'll show all of the different parts and then they'll also highlight them. And then these are the articles you can go to. So you can click on the carpal bones and it kind of has like a section like you would have in a textbook where it describes everything. It also has tables in these articles. So yeah, this is kind of like uh, the gist of Ken Hub. I honestly think the quizzes are probably the best part because you usually learn on testing yourself and not just sitting there and like uh, watching a video passively or writing down something passively. You know, you learn when you're like testing yourself, when you're repeating concepts. So I love the quiz section in Ken Hub. I think that that's super helpful. I was just editing this video and I realized that Ken Hub was actually kind enough to give you guys 10% off. So if you're interested in using Ken Hub, then I will link the code down below that you guys can use. It's 10% off for their premium access. They do have regular access, but the premium access is the one that gives you access to the videos, to the quizzes, and all of the other extra stuff that I kind of mentioned. And thank you to Ken Hub for sponsoring this portion of the video. And then after you've gone through all these resources, you've learned everything, <laughs> to kind of like stay up to date and um, stay refreshed on anatomy, I definitely love Anki for that. And with Anki, you're kind of just going to do more of the high yield stuff that you're tested on a lot on board board exams and adding in like pictures from different resources in the cards is also super helpful. Every time you get pimped on on a question, you even if you don't remember it, like it's a really good learning experience because you'll never forget it and that's definitely the case for me. I, I usually don't forget like the things that I've been pimped on just because I got so scared in the moment and I'm like I'm never gonna forget this. So that's kind of like the gist of how I learned anatomy. Uh, let me know what how you guys learned anatomy in medical school. Any tips or advice you guys have. I always love uh, learning from others. Most of these resources are just resources that I've heard about from other people. So I think the best way to kind of know what what is out there and what's the best resource to use is to talk to people in your medical school and also like watching YouTube videos and seeing what other people use. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!